Hey guys, this is Pablo with BND Gaming. And today we're going to be talking about one of those games that hunts your parents' nightmares. And no, I don't mean Grand Theft Auto V meets Night Trap. That, by the way, was the cause of the creation of the ESRP. No, no, no. I'm talking about Grand Theft Auto V meets Mother Russia. And you're probably asking yourself, how much is that gonna cost me? I'll tell you what, it's free! For free? Yes, young Padawan, for free. And the name of the game is Mad Out Big City or Mad Out 2. What is also, amazing enough, available for Android and other devices. So alright, to start the game, uh, that was the first time I played the game, and you have a random car with a random dude, not much else. Um, it's for the most part pretty basic, choice of course, nothing very important, not very amazing, you don't start with that much money anyway, and to be honest, what I came to find out before, uh, after I played the game for a little while is, it really doesn't matter, because I really have not been able to use my car. Um, you are able to do some tuning to your car and uh, set up a couple of vinyls, change colors, things like this. But I'll be honest, it's kind of wonky and not very user friendly, so I would just skip it to really basic, at least in the beginning. I mean, eventually you kind of figure out the little things. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can buy weapons, because why not? You can edit your player, what I'll be honest in the beginning, don't even worry about it. You do make some decent money during the game, but you will mostly spend anything in weapons during the gameplay. Also, it is cheaper to buy guns when you're in the main screen. You do have three game modes, single player missions and online. Um, I'll be honest with you, that screen that you're just seeing right now, I could not go back to that afterwards. Um, you have some options of other screens and all. It, it's, there's a lot of things that are complicating the game to navigate. Um, but I guess it just takes time for you to figure out. So, all right, let's take a game. So, all right, let's take a look on single player. All right, that's my car, and I just shot at it. And for some reason, I have no idea. I'm trying to get in the car, and I just can't find a way. It took me a while, but I finally figured out that you have to press E to actually get into the car. One thing I love is like cops would just run people over. And like not care. I don't know if that's a thing that happens in Russia, but at least in this game, it's a common thing. You are in a way almost immortal because every time you shoot someone, you just get like a life pack. Like I said, the game's a lot wonky, like, people just walk into the car and try to go through it. For some reason, every single person, or at least half of the people in town, wear some weird mask, like, it's Halloween. And they just walk by you, and you're shooting at people, like, nothing's going on. Unless you start shooting at them.
I swear to God, those are like the worst scops ever. It's almost like shooting that stormtroopers. The other thing, look at the lap, like those sunflowers are just huge. I swear to God, I feel like I'm leaving the town right next to Chernobyl. It's all right, that's when I finally figure out how to get in the car. And I have like over a dozen cops coming around me and I I'm just going through. My car is smoking and almost on fire so I'll just crash it. One of the problems, so I respawn, I guess it's right in front of the hospital, but you, you really can't interact with anything. See, I, I thought for a sec that woman had a beard, but no, it's just another mask. Like, people in this game just dress so weird, and those are not players, those are NPCs. The other thing is, besides of shooting on people, you really don't have anybody can interact to. I think that uh, there are a lot of really cool things in this game, but not being able to interact with buildings. The other thing is like it, it just changed from like day to dusk in like half a second. So I decided to go a little bit on the online and take a look what else I can do in this game. So. <laughs> I just appeared like in PUBG, but with no parachute. I just fell from the sky on top of a tower. I guess lucky that I fell on top of a tower. The problem is I have to run all the way down because I took damage as when I fell just a little bit. So I know if I try to jump, it's, it's just death. Oh my god, so many stairs. Alright, alright. Hey, life packs, great. Cars, yep, no, can't get in. Just. I think the. One of the problems is because people. Are, some people are playing in you know, like mobile, mobile. Some people are on computers. So every now and then you see like cars just moving light speed and just glitching out and appearing in front of you. So when you die, you have to buy new weapons. So you lose everything you have on inventory when you're playing this type of games. Um, but I guess it's realistic, but you know. Oh yeah, the other thing is that because some people are on mobile, a lot of times it's easy for you to just kill people because when they realize they're being shot at, they can't just turn into you and like shoot you. So you just randomly go killing people. So the other thing, I love it, it's the translation. Role play, what I think is role play, <laughs> and racing Parker. Parker, I could not play this game. Um, it it always shows there's nobody in there. I don't know if they didn't put the game yet, but I have no idea what Parker is. And and I really hope role play means role play. <laughs> 
But yeah, I, I think the funny thing is because one of the comments that someone had on Steam was how great the translation this game is, and and that's not those are not the only mistakes. I think I think I'm mentioning because those mistakes are actually right in the front, like it's right when you pick the game you're gonna play. Okay, so missions. Some missions? Oh god. Yeah, well, it's just. They, they switch the cars you're using every time, so you're not even using your car. That's why I said don't worry about your car for the longest time. But, like, some you can cheat where I didn't use the ramps. And then they had this weird mission where I just have to run over people. It's like, I have a, a, a four minutes to run over ten people in a closed parking lot. And then this mission that I could not just save my life be able to complete, so I decided, you know, screw it. I'll just get off the car and, like, run. So, supposedly I was... I had to drive through this thing where you can barely fit the car and the curves just don't work with you. So I decided to run and somehow I made it on time. Now one of the best games uh, under that game, the online games is... Uh, I think that's... Uh, thieves and Robbers, uh, Police and Thieves. A and it's literally like paintball with real guns. But again, another problem is, like I said, because some people are probably on mobile or I don't know how fast the internet is in Russia, but they just can't see you shooting. I mean, I had a couple of games that I just killed like 20 people and I don't even think they knew what happened. Unless you run out of ammo. So, just to be clear about this game, this is not a bad game. Um, if, if it's glitches and cars driving on top of each other for some reason, and people being dragged on the street because the NPC wasn't pulled completely from the car, and stuff like that does not bother you, uh, it's a great car. It's a great game. I mean... One of the things, if you pay attention, the chat up there, uh, you have people from everywhere. You have people from Russia, you have people from China, you have people from the United States. So, and people really talk. I was paying attention to some of the chat and like people really talk in this game. So, it's a friendly game for the most part. Um, I don't see anybody trolling completely anybody else so uh, yeah it's fun and it's free so you know your parents may have a heart attack but you have fun so yeah metal 2 not a bad game um you have to be patient sometimes and stuff just goes crazy in the game but it's a nice game to play well guys, I hope you enjoyed that, let me know what you think about the game, let me know if you download, let me know you show up. Maybe I'll see you and I'll shoot you later. Take care guys, have a great weekend.